The film begins with a demonic vampire woman, thirsting for human blood. Woman screaming as she gives birth to a child whose soul is that of a demon, but it was not decided yet whether he would be good or evil. Now the vampire gives birth to a child for the demon woman but was not happy with this child. Because this prediction was made that this child would be the murderer of her dad. That's why she thinks of killing the child. She was holding a sword in her hand as she started attacking the child. A few fathers come here who immediately come and catch the demon woman and save the child's life. That woman becomes angry and says you can't do anything to me and now I curse this child. That he will grow up and become a demon like me, a vampire but the fathers ignore her words. And stab the cross in the woman's chest because she was a demon so she starts suffering and dies. After which they take the father's child with them. After he left, we saw that unfortunately the woman survived and was still alive, she removes the cross from her. While the fathers bring the child to the church and his name is named Radu and also try to change his face so that he does not look like a demon when he grows up because he was also born ugly. They also did this so that he does not support the demon but become a good person and fight the demons, vampires and kill them and protect them from evil. Now many years pass with this when Radu has now grown old but he really spent his whole life killing demons and vampires and even after growing old, he did not leave this work even today, he kill and defeat them. But he still did not know whose child was he and who were his parents, Radu comes to a vampire palace with his companions. The prince named Vlad, Radu comes to him and says I have come here to get the same kind of liquid after having it vampires do not suck human blood because it decreases the blood thirst in them. Radu says give it to me quickly, it is lying next to you but Vlad who was a bad vampire says how can I give you that liquid it is mine and I do not give what is mine to anyone. Saying this, he tells his companions to attack him, his companion moves forward at full speed. He also tries to stab a man in Raju's companion but he catches him and stops the attack. After it Balad himself also started fighting with him and here their fight broke out in which Radu and his companions fight with them well and give them equal fights. Because as someone comes to attack with a sword, they used to stop them every time with their swordsmanship. Here, the fight between Vlad and Radu starts for a while their fight went on but then Radu starts getting heavy on him now when Vlad felt that I will lose, he threatens Radu and then disappears while flying away. After his departure, Radu gets the liquid but as he was leaving, a vampire woman comes who looked terrible. And was actually the wife of Vlad, she catches Radu and says you do not know who I and Vlad are. Fathers made you a good person by deceiving you in their own way but I will not let this happen like you were born a devil's child, I will make you a devil's vampire again yes it is true that you are my and Vlad's son, you are not a father. Fathers had just snatched you from me, Radu is surprised to know this but he does not believe this. The vampire mother insists the truth will reveal itself in time, despite the disbelief of others. After it, she also flies away after it, Radu checks the whole palace where he sees a woman in jail named Helena, she was imprisoned with her son, they move inside while breaking the jail. Helena pleads to Radu that please save us and get us out of here or else that cruel Vlad will kill us. Radu feels pity on them so he decides to release them and include them in his team but his partner refuses. That what are you doing, we should not listen to them maybe they are also vampires so it is better to kill them. Saying this, he takes his sword and goes ahead to kill them but Radu gets angry and he stops him while holding his face. Radu comes out Helena and her son so that they can be taken to a safe place and they start their journey. When they get tired at night they decide to stay at one place but the next morning, when Radu goes to wake Helena. So that they can start her journey but as her face came in the sun, she started to feel pain and this make Radu nervous thinking that is he a vampire because vampires burn in the sun so he asks her the same thing Helena says I was stuck in Vlad's jail for a long time in the darkness so I am feeling pain in the sun don't worry I will be fine in a few days so Radu has to believe her but because of this, Radu's partner gets very angry. He thinks that now Radu is not like before who used to kill demons and he left this boy who is a vampire so he leaves Radu alone so now Radu, Helena starts his journey with her son. Radu used to travel at night so that Helena doesn't feel pain in the sun but one night when Helena was sleeping he sees a mark on her feet which was the mark of Vlad's biting. Radu was surprised to see this because he understood that Helena lied to him because of the cut now she is a vampire. But then he decides to kill her, he was going to attack her with a sword but Helena pleads in front of him. She cries and begs for her life, this time, also Radu feels pity on her and leaves her but he gives her the same liquid which he got from the palace and by drinking this vampire's thirst for blood reduces so Helena drinks the liquid. Radu started to give her the same liquid which really reduced her thirst for blood. But one night he forgot to give her the liquid, because of this, the vampire inside her woke up and thirsts for blood. 
Now she cuts Radu and drinks his blood, then she gives her own blood and turns him into a vampire, meanwhile, Vlad arrives. He takes Helena, her son in the liquid and leaves but poor Radu became a vampire and starts to wander in the forest. Moving ahead, he sees his friend, Radu comes and sits next to him and he tells it to his friend whatever happened to him his friend felt bad for Radu hearing this but now he couldn't do anything because his friend stopped him. Now Radu tells him to kill him so that he doesn't harm people by drinking their blood so he stabs Hus sword in Radu. But surprisingly, Radu didn't die but he was alive both of them were shocked how is this possible. Meanwhile, Raju's mom comes and stabs a huge arrow him due to it Raju's friend dies. So Raju's mom comes to Radu and says you didn't die because you are immortal and no one can kill you. After it, she brings Radu home and starts training him to become a devil. After a lot of training, he finally becomes half devil and half vampire, he also got powers that he uses to kill people. And starts drinking their blood because obviously, his mom made him evil but here he always remembered Helena because he started liking her. One day, he gets a chance and attacks his mom after which he runs away so that he can find Helena and the liquid but even after a lot of trying, he doesn't find her. Now many years passed and Radu was living alone but now because of loneliness, he was becoming crazy. So he decides to make a team so that he can talk to them, likewise, loneliness doesn't bother him so he goes to find his first friend he comes to a village where he sees two siblings, the girl was a singer who was playing good music. Radu is fond of them, so he seeks to befriend them. Upon meeting, he expresses his willingness to collaborate with them. Which will make you immortal, will always be alive, will never die. Then you can enjoy your life and become a magician I will teach you all this. Now the girl was about to say no but then her brother says yes, we want to be like that and we want to live like that. As they say this, Radu kills them and drink their blood, then change them into vampires while making them drink his blood. Radu brings both of them to his house, he kept both of them in jail so that they can't run away. Now the singer gets angry on turning into a vampire and tries to run away but fails. Radu starts training them, he catches many people and brings them for them so that they can drink their blood and become immortal because with their help, Radu wanted to find Helena and then they will end Vlad together. Because Radu want his dad's property as Vlad refuses to accept him as his son and obviously, he will not give him any property. Now as time goes by and the singer and her brother become vampires Wo can find their prey and drink their blood. One day Radu sends them out and they start killing people, he was attacking many people and drinking their blood. Like this, he killed many people but when they were out, a witch enters the palace taking advantage of this because the fathers of the church has sent her to end Radu. Moving ahead, she sees a girl in jail who was unconscious because Radu and those siblings drank her blood which means she is going to become a vampire. The witch comes to her and kills her with Raju's dagger but in the meantime, Radu and those siblings also come here who saw the witch doing this. Radu gets angry so he moves ahead and starts fighting with the witch while holding her neck. Because of this, Raju's dagger fell off. Radu bites her neck and drinks her blood and like this he also turns her into a vampire. But taking advantage of this fight, both of them steal Raju's dagger because only with this dagger, vampires can be killed. They turn the dagger towards Radu, he understands that they have cheated him and he tries to kill them while strangling them but the singer who was stuck starts playing a strange tune with her flute Rado starts to suffer and this sound was irritating him, he puts his hand on ears and bears pain. Taking advantage of this, they run away because now they don't want to stay with Radu but after some time when Radu gets normal, he also leaves from here to find them and take his dagger back. After searching for many years, he finds them and Radu asks for his dagger but the singer says our vampire Rani took it from us. But let us take you to her. After it they bring them to the queen and the queen was none other than Helena Radu was shocked to see her, he goes to her and asks about her son and Vlad. She says I don't want my son to be a vampire so I have left him between ordinary people. Now he lives with them and Vlad is sleeping in sound sleep in the basement that's why I am handling all this. Radu was surprised to know this. Helena shows him the liquid, she says I can give you anything if you give me the singer's brother. Now she was asking for that boy from Radu because the vampire who made another human a vampire, the new vampire becomes his or her slave that's why Helena Watts the singer's brother from Radu because Radu is his master and Helena is asking for him because she likes him, Radu agrees to this but actually, this was Raju's trap, he starts checking the palace while giving her the singer's brother. He sees Vlad in a coffin in the basement, he was imprisoned there and a heavy sword was kept on the coffin so that he couldn't come out. As Radu removes the sword, Vlad wakes up but here, Radu proves the prediction right and ends his dad Vlad with that sword. This was the prediction that he will be the murderer of his father, after it, he comes to Helena and attacks her. He tries to end her while strangling her neck but Helena stabs a dagger in Radu, the dagger was hit on his foot. 
This makes him injured badly but doesn't die, now he begins to writhe in pain but even then he attacks Helena. He attacks Helena with a dagger and separates her neck, the singer brings Radu out and feels bad to see him injured. Radu says I am not your master now, I free you and hearing this, the singer becomes happy. Meanwhile, the witch comes who has now become a vampire but she was furious at Radu because she is in this condition because of him. Now taking advantage of injured Radu, she attacks him with an arrow but the singer comes in between and is hit by that arrow. She falls down and dies on the spot, seeing this, Radu feels bad but the witch curses Radu that he will stay alone forever and not in peace but in pain, you will feel the pain every time because this is your punishment. Everything was fine when you were good but you ended many humans after turning into a devil vampire and made many of them like you even you wrapped me up in this too and the feeling of this will remain with you for the rest of your life. After it, she left while leaving Radu suffering from this pain. Because he is immortal and cannot die, he will always be this way, and the witch was content to be a vampire. She was a witch as well but now has become a vampire and decides to be a good vampire. Here this story concludes.